Well, 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 if it isn't the usual suspects clamoring for their weekly allotment of news summaries. ...at the damaged Fukushima nuclear plant are preparing a new phase of their cleanup. From next week, they plan to start releasing groundwater into the sea. Researchers took samples from about 600 tons of groundwater they pumped up last month from 12 wells on the mountainside outside the plant. Government and Tokyo Electric Power Company officials say their surveys of the water show radiation levels to be below the utility's safety limit. The TEPCO limit is lower than the government set standard, but about 400 tons of contaminated groundwater accumulates at the plant every day. The water flows from mountains into reactor buildings and mixes with highly radioactive water. The bypass plant aims to reduce the amount of freshly contaminated water by releasing, releasing groundwater into the sea. Utility officials say when fully operational, the new measure should reduce the daily buildup of radioactive water by up to 100 tons. Officials say they will meet with the Fukushima government and fishermen to explain the measures before they begin. The pumping is scheduled to start next Don't Wednesday. Understand. Here's the finance minister, Taro Aso. Remember, everybody's an Aso. Who can forget Taro Aso? <laughs> The biggest asshole in Japan. Who can forget him? He's the finance minister, right? Yes. What an asshole that asshole is. <laughs> well, he's in this headline. Let elderly people, quote, hurry up and die, says Japanese minister. Taro Aso says he would refuse end-of-life care and would feel bad knowing treatment was paid for the, by the government. So he was doing the rounds selling people on this new budget they have. Taro Aso is calling for a restart of nuclear power plants in the country. Once their safety is confirmed, he says the step is necessary to slash the huge fuel import costs that cut deep into the nation's current account surplus in fiscal 2013. Heaven forbid, he said, if you are forced to live on when you want to die, I would wake up feeling increasingly bad knowing the treatment was all being paid for by the government. The problem won't be solved unless you let them hurry up and die. <laughs> That's right, Mrs. Watanabe. This, some fella, finance minister in Japan named Aso, wants you to kill yourself. It's a fact that the higher utility costs have been affecting manufacturers and as a result raising prices and hurting consumer spending in Japan. Also noted that nuclear power will remain the cheapest source of energy, at least for the time being. All nuclear reactors in Japan are offline after the Fukushima Daiichi accident in 2011. Also also said Japan needs a growth strategy that will allow businesses to earn foreign currency not only through exports, but also through overseas investment. This some fellow finance minister in Japan named Aso wants you to kill yourself for the benefit of his paper-pushing bankster buddies down there at the Bank of Japan. That's not right, is it? What are you going to do about it? How about some, uh, some, you know what? They got that special sushi in Japan made out of the blowfish. If you eat too much of it, it kills you. How about Mrs. Watsunami goes down to this asshole's office and serves him a nice luncheon of deadly sushi? How'd you like that, asshole? He said such a strategy is needed to stop the current account surplus from shrinking further. Radioactive contamination from the nuclear accident in Fukushima affected dozens of communities in eastern Japan. Crews have cleaned up most of it, but in some areas there is more work to be done. Environment Ministry officials have been monitoring a cleanup efforts in 58 municipalities across seven prefectures. They say 42 municipalities met the March deadline for completing a decontamination or were nearly done. But 16 towns and cities did not meet the deadline, and 12 of them have asked the government to extend funding from one to three years. Officials say more homes needed to be decontaminated than initially projected, causing delays. U.S. Ambassador to Japan Caroline Kennedy says her government is ready to help decommission the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant and to deal with contaminated water. Kennedy visited Fukushima Daiichi on Wednesday and inspected the control room for the number one and number two reactors. The reactors suffered meltdowns following the earthquake and tsunami of 2011. Officials of the plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, described how they dealt with a loss of power after the tsunami. Kennedy watched workers remove nuclear fuel assemblies from a storage pool at the facility's number four reactor building. 
The process is essential to efforts to decommission the plant. Uh, the United States has always uh, done all we can to support the people of Japan as they face these very, very uh, tragic disasters and have uh, made great progress in um, recovering and we stand ready to help in any way we can going forward um, uh, in the future. The ambassador's visit to Fukushima Prefecture will also include an offshore floating wind power generator and a facility to support children who survived the disaster. U.S. Ambassador to Japan Caroline Kennedy is reaching out to Japanese young people. She spoke with high school students in Sendai City, northeastern Japan. She met with students who recently visited the United States on a homestay program. They talked in English about her job as ambassador and school life in Japan. I think that it's so important and I'm so happy that you've traveled to the United States because uh, the future of the Japanese-American relationship is really in the young people. She said she hopes more American students will come to Japan. <laughs> Kennedy made zunda mochi, a rice cake with green soybean paste that's a local specialty. She pounded rice for the cake in time with the students chanting and joked that she came to Sendai especially to eat it. The high school is in Miyagi Prefecture, which was hard hit by the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami. Officials in Japan's Fukushima Prefecture have expressed criticism of a storyline in a long-running comic book series. It depicts negative health effects stemming from the 2011 nuclear accident in the prefecture. Officials on Monday lodged an official complaint about the Oishimbo storyline. It was featured in the weekly manga magazine Big Comic Spirits late last month. It shows a character suffering a nosebleed after visiting the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. In the latest issue published on Monday, a former mayor of Futaba town, in which part of the plant is located, and a university professor are depicted. The characters are given dialogue claiming that people who have been exposed to radiation from the facility have suffered nosebleeds. They also urge people not to live in Fukushima, saying it is uninhabitable. They go on to suggest that even removing radioactive substances from wide areas would not make the area suitable for people. Fukushima Prefecture Governor Yuhei Sato says the story was offensive. The storyline as a whole gives the wrong impression and may give Fukushima an undeserved reputation. It's very disappointing. Futaba Town sent a letter of protest to the publisher last week. The letter claims the storyline is not factual. It stresses that the manga could encourage discrimination against the people living there. The author, Tetsu Kadia, has rejected the criticism. In his blog, Kadia stressed that he is fully responsible for the content of the manga. He also said he would challenge the criticism in a magazine to be issued in the near future. <laughs>